the lion is one of the most terrifying animals on earth. Just its appearance alone can make other animals flee from the area. However, despite this, we observe a very peculiar phenomenon between lions and baboons. Baboons employ well-planned tactics to steal lion cubs, even though baboons are highly intelligent creatures. Their intelligence enables them to understand the potential consequences of becoming prey to lions while attempting to snatch their offspring. However, this does not deter them from the continuous act of stealing lion cubs. Hello everyone, I'm Davis, and in today's episode, we will discuss why baboons steal lion cubs. But before we begin, don't forget to subscribe and activate the notification bell to receive our videos promptly. Now, let's get started. Baboons belong to the old world monkey family called Cercopithecidae and are primates. They are characterized by a long muzzle similar to that of dogs, and they possess sharp and strong teeth. Scientists have classified baboons into five species, all of which inhabit the Arabian Peninsula and Africa. These five species share some general characteristics but also exhibit significant differences in other traits. Some species reach sizes as small as 41 grams, while others can weigh up to 10 kilograms. Therefore, baboons are considered among the largest animals in their family. Apart from their physical features, let's delve deeper into understanding this animal to figure out why it steals lion cubs. To understand this peculiar behavior, we need to set aside the traditional image we have of animals and recognize that we are dealing with an intelligent creature. In fact, their intelligence can reach remarkable levels. There have been research experiments that have discovered that baboons have the ability to acquire certain linguistic skills. They can learn words and understand them in a sequential manner. This is an extremely rare trait in the animal kingdom. Additionally, baboons possess the ability to communicate, plan, and use various intelligent strategies to defend themselves against predators. Not to mention their complex and remarkably organized social lives, which involve emotional bonds among individuals and a collective desire to protect one another. Baboons have the ability to organize themselves into groups called troops or clans by scientists. Each troop typically consists of 20 to 100 baboons. These baboons do not simply gather randomly or stay together in one place. Instead, they form small societies. They hunt and travel together. The males take on the role of guarding the troop, and the females often gather and care for the young baboons. In such cases, when unfamiliar or even other strange baboons attempt to encroach upon their territory, the baboons fiercely defend their land and are prepared to fight to protect it. Among the five species of baboons, four of them are commonly known as savanna baboons. This is because they prefer to live in the savanna habitats of Africa, which can be considered as the lion's den itself, the king of the savanna. The diet of baboons is diverse, including fruits, herbs, seeds, roots, and tree bark. However, they also consume meat. They are known to prey on birds, rodents, and even small mammals such as antelopes and sheep. Although their tails are not adapted for grasping tree branches, their climbing and traversing skills, as well as their ability to ascend slopes, are admirable, especially considering their large body size. However, they spend most of their day on the ground and are accustomed to covering long distances during the day in search of food. Their use of trees is often limited to sleeping, parts of their foraging activities, or escaping from predators. Of course, their presence on the ground for most of the time in the kingdom of lions and their tendency to travel in groups over long distances during the day attract the attention of predators. Despite the physical strength of baboons, such as their strong jaws and teeth, individual confrontations with lions undoubtedly end in favor of the lions. Although group behavior can enhance the baboon's chances against a lion or a leopard, their physical abilities are not sufficient. In the end, the scale tips in favor of the big cats. However, baboons compensate for their physical limitations with their intelligent minds. They have a good understanding of their own strengths and weaknesses, as well as those of the surrounding predators. For example, their night vision is not comparable to that of leopards. Therefore, they avoid moving on the ground during the night and instead choose to climb high trees, slopes, and hills to sleep safely away from themselves and other predators. They also understand the daily routine of lions, such as when they go out to hunt and when they rest. This is the reason behind the amazing scene where baboons can be seen sitting near lions in the middle of the day, playing and living their lives without worry or fear. This is because they understand that lions are often lazy during that time and prefer to take a nap rather than hunt. Despite possessing intelligent defensive strategies and avoiding the harm of lions and others, 
they exhibit one of the strangest behaviors in the animal kingdom. They have a proactive plan to completely avoid the danger of lions, which involves stealing their cubs. This is one of the explanations proposed by researchers for the unique behavior of baboons. The monkeys are well aware of the risks of approaching lions. Even the seemingly simple act of stealing cubs is carefully planned by the baboons. They study the situation around them meticulously, observe the movements of the mother lion, and wait for her to go hunting or become distracted by something else before they go and take the cub. They cradle the cub in their arms and quickly disappear from the scene before the mother returns. So why do they do this? The answer to this question can be found in the strange story told by one of the safari guides. Our story begins with Kurt Schultz, a safari guide and wildlife photographer in North and East Africa. Schultz has been photographing animals for 20 years, getting up close and personal with them. One day, he woke up and decided to take a tour in Kruger National Park, which is one of the largest parks in South Africa. So Schultz headed to the park and started his tour, and suddenly, he witnessed one of the most astonishing and bizarre scenes he had ever seen in his 20 years of experience. Schultz saw a baboon stealing a lion cub and running with it. Naturally, one would expect the baboon to harm and kill the cub in a violent and brutal manner, but that's not what happened at all. The baboon kept leaping from place to place, tree to tree, with the cub in its possession. Then, it settled on a branch and gently laid the cub down. It began grooming and caring for the cub, just as baboons care for their own offspring. What's remarkable is that the care provided by the baboon to the lion cub was the same care baboons give to their own babies. This continued until Schultz stopped filming. The baboon was interacting with the lion cub, but unfortunately, Schultz mentioned that it was highly unlikely for the cub to survive and thrive in the baboon's world. Lions have a different way of life than baboons, and it would be challenging for the cub to adapt to the baboon's lifestyle. The peculiar behaviors exhibited by baboons towards lion cubs have prompted scientists to study the phenomenon in detail in order to determine the underlying reasons. So far, two main possibilities have been proposed, which are considered more likely by scientists. The first explanation is that baboons have an affinity for lion cubs. When baboons see a small and cute lion cub, they instinctively decide to take it. They plan and execute their strategy, actually taking the beautiful animal and starting to care for it. The second explanation, which scientists lean towards more, is more suitable considering the harsh life in the wild where it's survival of the fittest. As we mentioned earlier, baboons are highly intelligent and can analyze situations and protect themselves. In this case, the situation is not much different. The baboons observed the lions and saw the cubs as a growing threat. They thought, let's take the cubs while they're young and eliminate them so that there won't be any big lions in the future. This is indeed the plan that baboons are keen on executing stealing lion cubs at every possible opportunity and killing them in a brutal manner, as if seeking revenge. This ensures that the cubs don't grow up, reducing the number of lions and increasing the chances of safety for the baboons, as well as their own survival in the forest. However, in the end, we cannot definitively conclude that the only reason for cub stealing is self-defense and fear of them growing up. This is due to other stories we have seen where baboons provide care and attention to lion cubs, which makes both possibilities we discuss strong contenders. Sometimes baboons steal cubs due to an instinct similar to the nurturing instinct, and other times they may be fearful and want to kill them before they grow up. In conclusion, the behavior of baboons stealing lion cubs is not only a captivating tale of wildlife, but it also serves as a powerful reminder of the intricate tapestry of life that unfolds in the natural world. The motives behind this behavior are multifaceted, spanning from dominance assertion to resource acquisition and even the preservation of their own species. By delving into the mechanisms driving these interactions, we gain a deeper understanding of the interconnectedness of species and the strategies they employ to survive and thrive. As we continue to explore and unravel the secrets of the animal kingdom, our appreciation for the diverse strategies and adaptations that have evolved over millennia grows. The study of these interactions not only enriches our understanding of the natural world but also instills a sense of wonder and awe in us, as we witness the remarkable complexity and resilience of life on Earth. If you found this video intriguing, be sure to subscribe to our channel to stay connected with the captivating stories of wildlife. By subscribing, you'll gain access to a wealth of knowledge and insights into the fascinating realm of animal behavior, ecology, and conservation.
Join our community of curious minds as we embark on an enriching journey to unravel the mysteries of the natural world. Remember, nature has a way of constantly surprising us with its wondrous intricacies, and together, we can foster a deeper appreciation and understanding of the remarkable diversity that surrounds us. Subscribe now and join us on this remarkable adventure. Thank you for watching, and we look forward to sharing more captivating stories with you soon.